Hi everybody, it's Linda with LDL Creation Studio again. I have this uh, beauty here that I wanted to share with you today. It's a six by nine uh, journal uh, with a little over, it's a two and a quarter inch spine. And if you look at the front here, uh, it's flower power is, is the saying right here. And then I've blitzed it up with some of the, the yellow uh, glitter all the way through and then I put it in her hair and if you can see it right there on the tips of her hair it's glittered and then she has this antique uh, one two three four layer flower brass flower here with a ruby stone right in the center and she's got this black lace coming out on, on the side this beautiful lace she's painted black but it's got a lot of silver highlights in it and the binding is black but I think that you can see here the silver coming through there you go and then on the back you can see it also the silver highlights to her and then I put this uh, coordinating I thought it was a coordinating uh, paper diagonally with a big ruby stone there and I put added the same be bold enough to use your voice and I think that's what and here's a little butterfly on a flower and rounded corners all four corners are rounded and her main color here is yellow and a lime green so she's not a dull girl by any means and then I use the elastic uh, tie again with the Tim Holtz little button there and then if you open her up uh, she has some color uh, I thought that was befitting for this one and she's got this beautiful peach and lime green all this is bow bunny paper uh, and she's this is the the other piece of what was on the back with the butterfly and then that hand crocheted flower with a big sapphire stone there and the cards here in the front coffee stain and then here's a little musical journaling card over on this side is the coordinating paper to this and then uh, underneath this is uh, I think this is Nick the Booksmith paper on this this page right here. This is Bo Bunny. This is Bo Bunny, Bo Bunny, and then this is Nick. I mix my papers all the time, my collections of what I think goes together. And a little pocket there. But beautiful paper. Again, uh, another design with a bee there and some butterflies. I have a fold out page. All the page counts and all of that will be on the Etsy site. Line paper, a little bit of stamping. And look at that envelope. I mean, does that not go with that over there or what? I mean, like I told you, this one has color. I mean, if you like color, this one is for you. I did not shy away from color on this. Here is your coffee stain line paper ledger coffee stain whenever you see this the grays paper this paper um, that paper uh, that paper this is Nick Nick's paper that I bought off her site she has several uh, kits on her site that you can buy the paper and print it out and then you cut it out and and you fold it and you put it all together so it's not part of the the many of the scrapbooking papers that I collect on my shelves this is something that I've printed out to go with some other papers that I have and there's that envelope so 
So whenever I'm using this much color, I thought this was perfect to tone it down a little bit. And it's the grays and the dark, different shades of gray. And there it is again. Different ones. This one. Fold out. As I mentioned in, in my other uh, videos, is that Nick is offering classes, uh, a class, and uh, how to how she does her journals, which is what the Christmas, the four Christmas journals were, were, is part of her style of making journals, and um, learned a lot. I mean, learned a lot. Uh, and so you're going to be seeing that more and more in, in some of my newer journals coming. And this is 28 pound, 26 or 28 pound copy paper that I print her uh, sheets off on. Anytime that I print anything off of a site like her site that I'm buying the paper uh, and as a download, uh, I print it on my uh, laser printer. On, on that 20 on the heavier copy paper and I, like I had stated before this is also the heavier copy paper that I copy stain uh, most most ones that I have found on the internet on YouTube they use like 20 pound paper and it's a little thin for me I like something with a little heft to it some little bit of weight in between a cardstock page. Sometimes I print all cardstock and put them in the front of each signature and then I follow that up with a heavier uh, paper. So I like different weights of paper throughout your journal. See how pretty these go together? That way, I, and this is a double pocket over here. That way you can have a little bit of color, but not too much color. And it's very soothing though. It's not loud. I'm not choosing to put it with, with something like that. Ledger. See, this is that heavy card stock. Uh, that I've printed out. Then a lot of times we print out paper and add our, our lines on the inside or the outside uh, to give you some line paper to write on. And then on the last page here is this real pretty chair and a little tuck spot here with that crochet and the sapphire and then the matching no this is the matching of the where the spine is a pocket with a coffee stain it's got the same paper as the front here and so that is this one flower power and she has five signatures and the number of pages and everything will be on on my Etsy site. And I hope you go and take a look. Uh, these are really adorable. Uh, this one, I, I like them all. I mean, I like all of these girls. Uh, and now I have done s many. But I have, I think, six available. Uh, for sale and then I won't be doing them again for quite a while. I like to I can't do two things two different collections the same. I can't do two 
journals the same. I mean, if you look at all of my journals, they're all different. And that's what just comes out. When I sit down to do a journal, it's just, uh, I don't know what it's going to, it's in my head and it comes out, but I never do the same thing twice. It's, it's really funny. My daughter and husband get very amused with that, that I don't do the same look over and over and over again. They're all different. So please take a look on my Etsy site and thank you for sharing the video with me today. I've enjoyed it and I've got some more that I've got to catch up on. Uh, I'm not allowing myself back in my studio until I catch up on doing my videos and I've got uh, several journals that I've got to bind and get ready to do a video so I mean I've just been creating and creating and creating uh, journals but that's what I do and thanks for sharing talk to you later bye